Welcome to Boat Part on uh, the Rhine River in Rhineland Falls. And we are here for a day trip. This is a historic old town. It was uh, originally a Roman fort. And now it's full of half timbered, uh, beautiful houses from the Middle Ages. Uh, it has a very historic church that was built on top of a uh, old Roman bathhouse. And right behind me is the tourist information office. So if you come into Bull Park, if you're traveling around the Rhine River, hop into the tourist information office and get some information. They have great literature in uh, English and they're also very helpful in there, very nice. They speak English. Uh, they also speak Spanish if um, that's important to you. And so very helpful. So highly recommend making that your best stop and then come out here to the marketplace and have a nice coffee or a tea uh, to start your day and get ready for some great sightseeing. So this is the church of St. Severus and no Harry Potter fans that is not Severus Snape. So Church of St. Severus built in the early 1200s so from the 11th century this church is almost a thousand years old. But places of worship have been here even older than that. The baptismal font in this church is from around the year 500 they estimate so going way way back but even further back than that this was the site of the Roman bath so this was a Roman garrison this town and they had natural spring waters here uh, where this church is at and this is where the Roman soldiers came to take their baths so level upon level upon level of history right here in Beaupart. So if you're in Beaupart and the St. Severus Church is open, you have to go inside. Inside it is, uh, it's incredible. Uh, great example of late Romanesque architecture. The artwork is just out of this world. And we were lucky enough, to, uh, earlier when we went in, we were treated to an organ concert, totally free. The organist was in there playing and it was phenomenal. So the art inside and the music inside are just really, really great. So you have to go check out St. Severus Church in Beaupart. The Bopart kiddos adored Elsa Heimberger's quaint little shop, which was affectionately dubbed Schnugel Elsa, which I think means snuggle Elsa. Uh, so the shop operated from 1909 until 1994, and this vintage store was brimming with oversized jars, bursting with all sorts of sugary delights, offering treats for just a few pennies. Fast forward to today, to today and Heimberger's historic house, which is one of Bopart's oldest half-timbered buildings, has trans transformed into a charming restaurant. All right, so here in Bopart, like many of the towns along the Rhine River or the Mosel River, as far as that goes, you will have a marking. And here we are at the at the Lillian Lillian's Tour or Lillian's Gate, and you can see these markings that say Hochwasser, that means high water. So this is where the water reached during floods or high water points, and it has the year or some and some of these have the month as well of where the water reached that point. So you look at the the highest point. Uh, was in 1882 and the water got here from the river. The river's just right behind me or right behind you about 50 meters away and so March 1988, December 1993 I think and so on and so forth. So they mark when it floods you can see the high water points along these villages. Okay so here in Bull Park you have a, uh, a an abundance of the beautiful timber framed half timbered houses or the Fachbrockhäuser as they say in Deutschland here in Germany and uh, many of them are quite old. This one for example from 1519 is very impressive, very well maintained and it's in quite good shape. Very very beautiful to look at. So if you like the half timbered houses and you have to come visit Boatpart, 
and check out what they have here. So this is the original uh, gate from the Middle Ages, from the 1300s here in Bopart. And you can see it's made out of slate. You can appreciate how thick it was and how tall it was. And that is the, um, the gate. This is called the Bingen Gate, where they used to come in and out. One of the points of entry into the town in the Middle Ages. And this is what's left of it. It's pretty fascinating to think that 700 years ago or so, someone built this gate to protect the city. It's pretty cool. Welcome to ancient Rome in 2024. And this is the best preserved Roman fortification in Germany, here in Bopart. You can see this wall, which is in its original condition and hasn't been rebuilt. And it's, it's about two meters thick and about eight meters tall at its highest point. Um, so they unearthed this, and it's from the fourth century AD. And here in this grassy area where I'm standing, it was continuously used, so after the Romans left, and then it fell into disrepair, and in the Middle Ages, it was put back into use. So this was a graveyard, and they found graves in this area from the seventh century AD. And if you look to my left, to your right, that gate, that is the original gate from the, the Middle Ages that they put in to fortify this, uh, to fortify the city. So you have, multiple layers of history on top of each other here. Roman, medieval, and then later on and now today it's used as a nice park. So right here in Bopart, Roman fortifications. Okay, so when you come to Beaupart, I recommend you come to the tourist information office. They're very nice in there. They have a lot of information. And we got this handy tour guide and map that was basically a walking tour of the city that took you to every place of interest and gave you a great deal of information on what you were looking at. So very, very handy, totally free as well. So I highly recommend you visiting the tourist information office here in Beaupart. Thank you for joining us on this enchanting day trip to Bopart, Germany. From the picturesque views along the charming streets and historic landmarks that make Bopart a true gem, we explored the rich history, stunning landscapes, and delightful local culture that make this town so special. We hope you enjoyed this journey as much as we did. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more travel adventures. Until next time, happy travels!